Hi, everyone, and welcome. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of myocardial infarctions or heart attacks. Did you know that the location of the damage in your heart can tell us a lot? Let's explore the different types of MIs and how we can spot them on an electrocardiogram or ECG. First up, we have the anterior wall MI. This occurs when the front part of the heart's main pumping chamber, the left ventricle, is affected. On an ECG, this often shows up as changes in the anterior leads, that's V1, V2, V3, and V4. Look out for ST elevation or new Q waves in these leads. Next, let's talk about the inferior wall MI. As the name suggests, this involves the bottom part of the left ventricle. When an inferior wall MI is happening, we typically see changes in the inferior leads 2, 3, and AVF. Again, ST elevation or Q waves in these leads are key indicators. Moving on, we have the lateral wall MI. This affects the side of the left ventricle. This type of MI often presents with changes in the lateral leads, I, AVL, V5, and V6. Keep an eye out for those ST segment abnormalities here. Our final type is the septal MI. The septum is the wall that divides the left and right ventricles. Septal MIs are usually best seen in the septal leads, primarily V1 and V2. Changes in these leads can point towards damage in this crucial area. Now, what about treatment for all these different types of MIs? The immediate goals are to restore blood flow to the blocked artery as quickly as possible and reduce further heart damage. This often involves medications like aspirin, nitroglycerin, antiplatelet agents, anticoagulants, and pain relievers. Reperfusion therapy could be through thrombolytics, clot-busting drugs, or a percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, where a catheter is used to open the blocked artery with a balloon and often a stent. Supportive care includes oxygen therapy, monitoring of vital signs, and management of complications. Long-term management involves cardiac rehabilitation, lifestyle modifications like diet and exercise, and medications to prevent future events.